Cheryl confessed it takes her three hours to pull off her trademark glamorous looks during the latest episode of The Greatest Dancer on Saturday. In awe of her new BFF, Odie Mabuz quizzed her fellow dance captain on what time she has to start getting ready for the new BBC dance show. The love made me do this hitmaker, 35, revealed she has to get up as early as 7am to ensure she completes her beauty regime. Odie asked, what time did you have to get up to do your makeup? Cheryl confessed, 7. Surprised, Odie responded, you need 3 hours to get ready? Fellow dance captain Matthew Morrison gushed over Cheryl's perfect looks as he stressed to look as good as she does she needs to put in a lot of work. He claimed, she doesn't just look like this, she needs a lot of work. The show started out with adoring fans showering the fight for this love hitmaker with their praises and Cheryl was quick to please her admirers. Cheryl told her fans, I love you. Matthew Morrison tapped on her shoulder and cheekily said, we are here to work. Dynamic Dads, made up of seven men, were the first group to head to the stage who have no dancing background. Matthew remarked, as a new dad myself, I love what you represent, a lot of people think dads lose their cool, you are proving that is not true. You are doing this for your kids and this is such an amazing thing. Cheryl said, what you really touched me it is actually a real deal for you guys and it means a lot. I love to see the emotion and passion so good for you dad. As captains on The Greatest Dancer, it is no surprise Cheryl and Odie have quickly developed a close friendship with one another. Insiders exclusively told Mail Online, you could see Cheryl and Odie's friendship clearly strengthening over the course of auditions. There is no way they would have felt comfortable enough to play a fight if they weren't genuinely mates. Backstage there was lots of dancing and cheeky banter especially ahead of choosing their final three acts. Cheryl has returned to our screens after a tough 2018 following her split from Liam Payne, whom is the father of their son Bear. There had been speculation that she has had cosmetic surgery after pictures emerged of her face looking puffy and frozen. She told Mail Online exclusively, The truth was, I had one hour's sleep that night, which is never good. I stayed up because the single and video dropped at the same time and I was reading the fan reaction on Twitter. It went a bit far and all of a sudden, it was 3 a.m. I went to bed and got up one hour later. So I put on a wig, the short bob was a wig from the music video. They put my hair back in a plate and then put on the wig. I was so pale and on the way out of the door, the makeup artist was saying to me. You've got a big pillow crease in your face that I can't get rid of. No one had seen the bob, but this is how I've always looked. While it appears the songstress may have given up on romance, the hitmaker confided in Mail Online that the reality is a little more optimistic. The mother of one said, I wouldn't say I've given up on love. I love, love. But I have paused my relationship goals. All is well. I'm just going with the flow but I have no plans to meet anybody anytime soon. Twice divorced, Cheryl announced she had split from Liam, 25. The father of son Bear, 22 months, back in July, following a two-and-a-half-year romance. And she admits she finds the heartache of splitting up with a partner almost too much to bear because of the lows that can typically follow the highs of love. She said, I hate the lows. I hate the lows. It's kind of one of the things that makes us not want to get into a relationship. Nothing quite makes you feel like that, does it? Nothing else. And I know you have to take the highs with the lows, so I'm working on being okay with that, but at the moment, I just don't need it. I don't want it. Despite their split, Cheryl said things are all good with Liam and says they are navigating their way through parenthood well. She said, there's no animosity whatsoever. We are learning all the time. And it's good, it's healthy. We're just like any other couple that have gone through this, but we have a few more eyes watching us. Just a few.